iOS app no code mystery and difficulty of launching an actual product on the App Store. In this video, I'm going to start that journey. We're going to be using Replit, we're going to be using Expo, and we're going to be launching natively React to the App Store for our product called Palmino. See this? It's a palm reader. It's going to use ChatGPT's image recognition and it's going to give us a palm reading natively on the App Store. So if you guys have never watched my channel, my name is Marcin AI and we are on a mission to crack this nut. I know people have done it, but I haven't seen much content around building for iOS native. And in today's video, this is part one. I'm probably going to get it all built today. And then I'm probably going to do another follow up video where I'm actually going to go in and have to post it, deploy it to the App Store native. And then we're going to launch it and you guys are going to see it exactly how to do it here. The app we're going to make is called Palmio. Read your palm reading. I saw this on X and I just thought this would be so fun. Line analysis, we're going to use ChatGPT and you're going to be able to get your whole reading. So here's what I'm going to do. I've never actually done this in Replit. I'm going to just upload all these images. <laughs> so these are all images that were created. And I'm going to say, I want to make a React Native iOS application with Expo. The app is a palm reading app using ChatGPT API. I have included the images in order of the flow of the website. Can you create all these screens for the app? I have no idea what's going to happen. I've actually never tried this, but let's see what it's going to actually do. So I've used Replit for probably 30 different projects now. If you guys have never tried it, it's a fantastic no-code tool and uh, they have a lot of great things. But one of the big things they do is they have the Expo integration. You're going to be able to actually build in React Native. So you're going to be able to get your stuff published to the App Store. This is the missing piece of no-code, but it's getting close. And I, they've already figured out a solution, but I have a feeling it's going to get even better. So let's see. Agents will use Replit support for OpenAI, Palm Reading plan approval, add social sharing for palm reading results, implement premium reading options with in-app purchases. Nope. Create a history of past reading. That's fine. We don't need that. Add detailed analysis category. We don't need that either. So let's just go in and let it start cooking. I'm actually curious to see what it does. It asks me is open AI private key. So you guys just go to platform.openai, create a new key. We're going to call this um, replet palm. Let's copy this one, paste it into Replit. So the nice thing about it is it saves it for you within the platform. So you don't have to worry about keeping it public and other people using it. So this is a great one. So we're going to add this to our accounts secret. So it's always going to be in there. So I don't have to keep doing it. Would you like to save this secret to your account? Yes, I have. So I'm very curious what it did with all those screenshots. I've never just blasted Replit with 20 screenshots of every single page of my app and see what it comes up with. If this thing works, I'm really going to be impressed. I mean, if this works, we're just going to build all our apps on this platform. I can see we need to install the requirement packages for Expo. Yep. So we're going to be using Expo. If you guys aren't familiar, Expo helps you with your iOS deployment. So it allows you to actually create an iOS simulator that you could use on your phone. So while I do the development, I can actually test the app on my phone. So the, the reason this is a big deal is if you're familiar with native iOS development using Xcode, you have a simulator and that's how you're able to actually code and see what you're doing. So since iOS is a closed system, you can't use, for example, Replit to preview your iOS device natively in Xcode, if that makes sense. So you have to use an external third-party software and that's where Expo comes in and does that for you. And now they can also deploy. So since we are using the React Native architecture, we're going to be able to actually build this in Replit, use Expo, and then we're going to be able to actually ship this out cross-platform to um, iOS. So that's kind of the big, the big deal, right? And before this, this was very complicated. We haven't even cracked this yet. So I'm really kind of testing this right now, but there is solutions that are coming 
and I'm sure they're going to add a uh, payment gateway with Stripe soon. I would imagine they're probably going to do all the kind of back end stuff with Superbase, everything. So you're going to just have one click purchase. Everything's just going to work. And I think it's a matter of time. So it's fixing all the errors. It's setting up our environments, our dependencies, and it's going to work. See right there, install the Expo React Native, Expo Camera, React Navigation. So all the things that make up an iOS native app, we're going to have here. And if you guys never tried Replit before, there's a link I have for you below. You get an extra $10 free credit, and I appreciate it. Buys me a late night cup of coffee. Make sure you guys come join our community, the No Code AI Army. We got 4,771 people in here creating. Developers, non-developers, no code, vibe coders. Everybody's in here collaborating, doing all kinds of fun stuff. And it's growing very, very quickly. People in here collaborating, making projects, launching SaaS businesses. It's been really, really fun running the community. And I'm super excited because it is there for you guys. That's why I created the community was because when I first started with AI, I was lost. I was like, where do I go? And I found a couple, a couple communities, but they were just selling, selling stuff. And I didn't like it. So my community is 100% for free. It's there for you guys so you can come in and vibe out. Holy smokes, we have an app. How did it even make this? Okay, here we go. So begin journey. We got name, Marcin. Birthday. Okay, that doesn't work. Time doesn't work either. Let's just call it a Poland. That's where I was born actually. Continue. Dominant hand, left hand, right hand. Okay, that's fine. Requesting camera permissions. Oh wait, it, it took over my camera. Let me stop that. You guys could see, okay, there's our app. So let's go first, let's put our name. We'll have to do the birthday, we'll fix that. I mentioned that that wasn't working. Let's go continue. Then we have our left or right select screen. Let's go left. Oh, okay. So now it's actually bringing up the camera. Okay, so there was no palm. So let's see if this is just dummy text. Okay, so it's dummy text which is totally fine, but it is working. All the flows are working. This is crazy. Okay. When the camera turns on, I want to have the camera activated and then I want to see an overlay see through so I could see my actual hand to take the picture. Once the picture is taken, I want to then use the open AI API to analyze my hand, the lines, and then give me a readout of everything that the API says about my hand. I'm just rushing through this, guys. If I put together a whole PRD for this and plan this all out, that's not how I rolled. I want to show you the power of these tools where you just kind of wing it, right? Like I'm just jumping in here. This is what I would be doing late night by myself. I just film it. So it's a little unorthodox. If you guys want some polished YouTube videos, there's definitely plenty of guys out there that take a week to do these videos, and I love their content. But for me, I'm just going to go in and bang some stuff out, hit my head up against the wall, but in the end, we're going to end up having a product, as you see. So hope you guys enjoy this style of content because that's what you're going to get from the channel. And if you do follow, I do appreciate it. Don't wait. Get out there. Start creating. Start vibing. Start no code development. AI revolution is here. And the faster you start, the faster you're going to get stuff done and you're going to build businesses. There's practically no learning curve besides practice. So very, very, very low barrier of entry. You come in. You download one of these tools, set up, start talking to it, regular human language, and it starts building for you. We really are living in an amazing time where you're able to just build just by using your words. So what's in here, you can actually put it in a digital world, which used to be so complicated. This would probably take me months with my developer and designer. I'm going to literally have a working app in a matter of seconds. Speaking of, let's try it. All right, it's going to finish the build. So let's do this. So we got the image when the camera turns on. So we need to create the overlay image, which I have. I think I have it in my Figma. If you guys aren't familiar with Figma, it's a platform where you can actually go in and design um, applications. So here is our actual project that my amazing designer, Mike, created. So that's time for another video. But we're ready to go with this project. This isn't just a little idea. Look, here's all our screenshots that we created. This is going to get published to the App Store ASAP. And then look, here's the whole flow. Uh, left hand, here it is. Yes, perfect. Okay. So this is what I want. Okay, export. PNG. See-through. It has to be PNG, guys. But if you look right here, see this? This image is see-through. 
So let's drop this in. Let's give it the directions we just did and hopefully it can make this update for us. And now we're gonna have an actual step where we're gonna be able to see our hand and then take our picture and then it's gonna analyze using the OpenAI API. Here's the instructions. Look, I understand what you're looking for. Let's implement these changes. Make sure the camera is active and see through overlay so you can align your hand. Use the palm outline image you provided for better alignment. Connect the API to analyze the palm. Display the complete palm reading analysis from the API. So trip out on this, right? Before, even a couple of weeks ago, maybe months ago, I would have to have given way more clear instruction. I just kind of vomited out this information. You get it? It's not perfect, but it is so smart. These systems, these no code large language models are getting so freaking good. They understand the context. They know what I'm doing. I've sent in the images. It can start thinking for itself. That's why it's becoming very, very powerful and it's only gonna get better and it's only gonna accelerate. So don't get stuck in the minutia of like, I need to have a perfect PRD and every dot and T crossed and dot I bullshit. Just make the damn product, create the stuff, start talking to these tools and start creating. That's all you need to do. Just damn start and don't wait. That's my rant for the day. Okay, so it looks like running it directly from Replit onto my phone on a web browser is not gonna give us the camera feature. So as you can see right here, it says, for a fully working camera experience with Flash, this would need to be running as a native app through Expo Go. So we're gonna go in and now we're gonna say, let's set up Expo Go. So the way you get Expo Go is you go on your phone, you download an app called Expo Go. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I already have it in here. I just wanna show you. Yeah, Expo Go. You install it and then once it's set up, you're going to connect it and then you're going to be able to actually view it natively. That's the idea. So let me restart the Expo server to make sure you have a fresh QR code. We hit open on Expo Go right there. And I already have all my other apps in here. And then we're just going to wait for it to finish here. Make sure you're on the same network too. That's very important. So my home network, and then make sure your phone is on the same network. That's going to be the easiest way because it's checking the IP addresses and it's much easier when they're all sunk up. And the way you get the QR code is you go to console right here. So you're in preview, you go to console and there's our QR code. So now we're going to go in, take our camera, scan the QR code. It's going to open the project in Expo. It's going to download it, install it, set up the package, and then we're going to actually try it. So let's see. It takes about 20 seconds. Right, we got it. Look at this native app. So as you can see, this is not a browser. This is native. And now we can put our info, continue, take our picture with my palm. Look at that. It analyzes. There it is. And we have our actual reading. <laughs> all native, all within an app. So you can see that this is a native app. This is not a browser. So now what do we do next? Let's take a look at our thumbnails or our screenshots. What does Mike want next? All right, so we got this. <clears throat> we got name, date of birth, time flow, birth, dominant hand, align your palm. So now we got our sign up screen. We're gonna pass that. We got analyze and we have our results. I mean, we pretty much have a full functioning app that you guys watched me build from start to finish. So next what I wanna do is I wanna actually set up a plan on how to push this to production, to development. So here's Expo. So this is one part that I've never actually done. So we're gonna definitely do this together. So I'm gonna go through the documentation. I'm not gonna do it in this video because I don't want this video to be too long. But as you guys saw, you could build native apps using Replit and be able to actually test them natively using Expo, making sure everything works. I'm gonna to continue tweaking this, see what happens. There's a bunch of errors, but this is the way of no code, is we don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but we're gonna continue doing it. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you guys do try Repl below, I'm always super, super grateful. Come join our community and give a follow if you like this kind of content. This is definitely a free for, you know, kind of, uh, free spirit, no code development, proper vibe coding. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And we'll continue with part two next on how to actually finish this app and then deploy it in the app store. Peace.